。哎，你好，新概念英语第二册 ，New Concept English Two。哎，今天我学习第二十二课 ，A Glass Envelope， 玻璃信封，两只鸭子像数字二十二，带着漂流瓶游啊游。课文开始前提出的问题是 ，How did Jane receive a letter from a stranger？ Jane 是如何收到陌生人的信的？呃，我的学习视频分为两个部分。第一个部分，课文内容图像化，变为一个小动画。呃，第二个部分，我的背诵。今天是一到二十二课的课文。好，开始第一个部分。开篇有提问，主人公 Jane， 呃，先介绍介绍他吧。她是我的女儿 ，My daughter。Jane， 哎，他从未想过会收到这样一封信。Never dreamed of receiving a letter。哎，这封信来自荷兰的一位同龄女孩 ，from girl of her own age in Holland。哎，既然没有想到会有这么一封信，那么就介绍一下它的由来吧。哎，这件事得从去年说起。Last year。We were traveling across the channel. 哎，我们正在横渡英吉利海峡的时候 ，Jane 做了一件事儿。Put a piece of paper into a bottle. 她将一张纸条装进瓶子里，而这张纸上有内容。哎，上面写着她的姓名，还有住址信息。With her name and address on it. 然后呢，她将瓶子扔到了海里。She threw the bottle into the sea. 哎，事情到此似乎是完结了。Jane 也没有再去想这件扔瓶子的小事儿。She never thought of it again. 哎，故事有转折才精彩。But ten months later, 她就收到了文章开始说的那封信。She received a letter from a girl in Holland. 哎，现实版的漂流瓶成功案例。哎，现在这两个姑娘定期互通信件了。Both girls write to each other regularly now. 然而 ，however， 他们认为信件的效率可能会更高一些，所以决定利用邮局。They have decided to use the post office. 这样成本花费会增加一些。Letters will cost a little more, 但是呢，肯定会快得多。But they will certainly travel faster. 哎，作者写文章的那个年代没有 Internet， 不然现实版的漂流瓶上面如果写上自己的社交账号，那一定更有意思。好，以上就是二十二课的课文内容图像化。那后面是我一到二十二课的背诵内容。好，背诵第一课到第二十二课的内容。Lesson one: A private conversation. Why did the writer complain to the people behind him? Last week I went to the theater. I had a very good seat. The play was very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. I got very angry. I could not hear the actors. I turned around and looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not bear it. Bear it. I turned around again. I, I can't hear a word. I said angrily. It's none of your business. The young man said rudely. This is a private conversation. Our lesson two: breakfast or lunch. Why were the writers and the surprise? It was Sunday. I never get up early on Sundays. I sometimes, sometimes stay in bed until lunchtime. Last Sunday, I got, up, I got up very late. I looked out of the window. It was dark outside. What a day! I thought. It's raining again. Just then, the telephone rang. It's my aunt Lucy. I've just arrived by train. She said, "I'm coming to see you, but I'm still having breakfast." I, I said. What are you doing? She asked. I'm having breakfast. I repeated. Dear me, she said. Do you always get up so late? It's one o'clock. Our lesson three. Please send me a card. 
Only in the card did the letter send. Postcard always spoil my holidays. Last summer I went to Italy. I visited museums and sat in public gardens. A friendly winter taught me a few words of Italy. Then had a new book. I read a few lines, but I did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcard. My holidays passed quickly, but I did not send cards to my friends. On the last day, I made a big decision. I got up early and bought 37 cards. I spent the whole day in my room, but I did not write a single card for less than four. An exciting trip. Why is Tim finding this trip exciting? I've just received a letter from my brother, Tim. He's in Australia. He has been there for six months. Tim is an engineer. He's working for a big firm. And he has already visited a great number. Great number of great number of different places in Australia. He has just bought an Australian car has been has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon fly to uh, visit Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother has never been abroad before, so he's finding this trip very exciting. Lots of fun. No wrong numbers. What does no wrong numbers mean? Mr. James Card had crash in Silbury, and now he has just bought another crash in Pinhurst. Pinhurst is only 5 miles from Silbury, but Mrs. Card cannot get a get telephone for his new garage, so he has just bought 12 pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon carried the first message from Pinhurst to Silbury. The bird covered the distance in 3 minutes. Up to now, Mr. Scott has sent, has sent a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one garage to the other. In this way, he has begun his own he has begun his own private telephone service for less than six. Proceed buttons. Who is proceed buttons? I've just moved to a house in Bridge Street. Yesterday, a banger knocked at my door. He asked me for a meal and glass of beer. In return for this, the banger stomped on his hand and sang songs. I gave him a meal. Ate food and drank beer. Then he put a piece of cheese into his pocket, uh, in his pocket, and went away. Later, a neighbor told me about him. Everybody knows him. His name is Percy Buttons. He, he calls he calls at every house in the street once a month, and always asks for a meal and a glass of beer. All of a sudden, sudden, too late. Did the detective save the diamond? The play was lit, and the detectives were waiting at the airport all morning. They were expecting, they were expecting for a valuable parcel of diamond from South Africa. A few hours earlier, someone told the police that thieves would try to steal the diamond. When the play arrived, some of the detectives were waiting inside the main building, while others were waiting on the airfield. Two men took the puzzle off the plate and carried it into the customer's house. While two detectives were keeping guard at the door, two others opened the puzzle. To their surprise, the fresher puzzle was full of stones and sand. Lesson 8. The best and the worst. Why is Jones Garden the most beautiful one in the town? John Sanders has the most beautiful garden in our, t in our town. Nearly everybody entered for the nicest garden competition each year, but Joe wins every time. Bill Fred's garden is larger than Joe's. Bill works harder, works harder than Joe, and grows more flowers and vegetables. But Joe's garden is more interesting. He has made new path and has built a wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year I enter for the garden competition too, and I always win a little prize for the worst garden in the town. 
than Sinai or cold work of. What does what does the cold work a cold work of refer to? On Wednesday evening, the winter that had come. It was it was the last day of the year and a large crowd of people had gathered under the town hall clock. It was strike twelve in twenty minutes time. Fifteen minutes passed and then at five to twelve the clock stopped. The big minute head did not move. They waited and waited, but nothing happened. Suddenly someone shouted. It's two minutes past twelve. The clock the clock has stopped. I looked at my watch. It was true. It was true. The the big clock refused to work on the new year. At that moment everybody began to laugh and sing. But listen ten to Shaka. Not for jazz. What happened to the clap chord? We have a no musical instrument. It is called clap chord. It was made in Germany in 1681. Our clap chord is kept in the living room. It has belonged to our family for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Recently, it was damaged by a visitor. She tried to play jam on it. She struck the keys too hard, and two of strings were broken. My father was shocked. Now we're not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by a friend of my father's. Oh, lesson eleven: One good turn deserves another. Zhang Wanglai. Who paid for Tony's dinner? I was having breakfast. I was having. I was having dinner when Tony Steele came in. Oh, I was having dinner at the restaurant when Tony Steele came in. Tony worked in a lawyer's office years ago, but he is now working at a bank. He gets good salary, but he always borrows money from his friends and never pays it back. Tony saw me and came in. Sat at the same table. He has never borrowed money from me. While he was eating, I asked him to lend me twenty pounds. To my surprise, he gave me the money immediately. I have never borrowed any money from you, Tony said. So now you can pay for my dinner. Well, lesson twelve. Goodbye and good luck. Where is Captain Ellison going, and how? I, our neighbor Captain Charles Ellison, will sail from Portsmouth tomorrow. We were meeting at the harbor early in the morning. He will, he will be in his small boat, Top Sail. Top Sail is a famous little boat. It has sailed across the Atlantic many times. Captain Ali, Captain Ellison, will set out at eight o'clock, so we'll ha- we'll have plenty of time. We'll see his boat, and then we will say goodbye to him. He will be away for two months. We are very proud of him. We are very proud of him. He will take part in important race across the Atlantic. Lesson thirteen, the Greenwood Boy. Why will why will the prince have a difficult time? The Greenwood Boys are a group of pop singers. At present, they are visiting all parts of the country. They will be arriving here tomorrow. They will be coming by train, and most of the young people in the town will be meeting them in the station. Tomorrow evening, they will be singing at the workers' club. The Greenwood boys were staying for five days. During this journey, they during this time they were give five performances. As usual, the police will have difficult time. They will be trying to keep order. It is all it is always the same, always the same on these occasions. Lesson fourteen. Do you speak English? Did the young man speak English? I had an amusing experience last year. After I had left a small village in the in the south in the south of France, 
I drove until the next town. On the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped, and he asked me for a lift. As soon as he had got into the car, I said good morning to him in French, and he replied in the same language. Apart from a few words, I didn't know any French at all. Neither of us sp spoke during the during the journey. I had nearly reached reached the town when the young man suddenly said, very slowly, "Do you speak English?" As I soon learned, he was English himself. Oh, lesson fifteen, Sherlock Holmes. The good news: the the secretary told me that. Mr. Hamsworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I went into his office. He did not look up from his desk when I entered. After I had sat down, he said that business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not afford to pay such such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had come. Mr. Hamsworth, I said in a weak voice. Don't interrupt," he said. Then he smiled. I told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. Oh. Hmm. Lesson sixteen. Shrewd. A polite request. What was the polite? The polite request. If you park your car in the wrong place, a uh, uh, traffic. Policeman will soon find you. If、uh, you will be very lucky if he lets you go without ticket. However, it does not always happen. Traffic police are sometimes very polite. During a hot day in Sweden, I found this note in on my car. On my car, sir, we will come into our city. This is a no parking area. You will enjoy your stay here if you pay pay attention to our street street signs. This this note is only a reminder. If you received a request like this, you cannot fail to obey. Lesson seventeen. Always young. Why doesn't Aunt Jennifer tell anyone how old she is? My aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least thirty-five years old. Despite this, she often appears on the stage as a young girl. Jennifer will have to take part in new play soon. This time, she will be a girl of seventeen. In the play, she must appear. She must appear in a bright, bright red dress and long black stocking. Last year, in another play, she had to she had to wear short socks and a bright orange-colored dress. If anyone ever asks her how old she is, she always said, answers, "Darling, it must be terrible to be grown up." Oh, lesson eighteen. He often does this. What had happened to the writer's bag? After I had had lunch. At a village pub, I looked for my bag. I had left left it on a chair beside the door, and and now it wasn't there. As I was looking for it, the landlord came in. Did you did you have good meal? She and he asked. Yes, thank you. I answered, but I can't pay the bill. I haven't got my bag. The landlord smelled and immediately went out.、Uh, in a few minutes, he returned with my bag and gave it back to me. I'm very sorry, he said. My dog, my dog has taken it into the garden. He often does this.、Oh, lesson, lesson, lesson eight. Oh, lesson. Lesson eighteen. Lesson nineteen. To shoot your crow. Sold out. When will the writer see the play? The play may begin at any moment. I said. It may have begun already. 
soon answered. I hurried to the ticket office. May I have two tickets, please? I asked. I'm sorry, we've sold out, the girl said. What a pity, the Susan exclaimed. Just then, a man hurried to the ticket office. Can I return the? Can I return these two tickets? He asked. Certainly, the girl said. I went back to the ticket office at once. Could I have those two tickets, please? I asked. Certainly, the girl said. But they're for next Wednesday's performance. Do you still want them? I might as well have them. I said sadly. Oh, lesson twenty. Lesson twenty. Oh, sure, cool. One man in the boat. Why is fishing the writer's favorite boat sport? Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything. But this doesn't. This does not worry me. Some fishermen are unlucky. Instead of catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I am even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. Having spent, having spent, after having, after having spent whole mornings on the river, I always go home with empty, empty bag. You must. You must give up fishing, my friends say. And my friends say, it's a waste of time. But they don't realize one important thing. I'm not really interested in fishing. I'm only interested in sitting in the boat and doing nothing at all. Oh, lesson twenty-one. 二十一课。二十一课 ，lesson twenty-one. Mad or not? Why do people think the writer is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. I live near a net near an、uh, airport. I live near an airport, and passing planes can be heard night and day. The airplane was built years ago, but for some reason, it could not be used then. Be used then. Oh, last year, however, it came into use. Over, over a hundred people must have been driven away from their homes by the noise. I'm one of the few people left. Sometimes I think this house will be shot down, will be knocked down by a passing plane. I have been, I have been offered. A large sum of money to go away, but I am determined to stay here. Everybody says I must be mad, and they are probably right. Oh, 开始今天学习的第二十二课 Lesson Twenty Two, A Glass Nebula. How did Jane receive a letter from a stranger? My daughter, Jane. Never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her of her own age in Holland. Last year we were traveling across the channel, and Jane put a piece of paper with her name and address on it into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of, thought of it again. But two months later. She received a letter from a girl, from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use post office. Letters will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. 好了，今天就是一到二十二课的背诵内容。好，我们下次见。拜拜。